everybody. It's Lindy Tate from Tater Bucking. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. I'm having some technical difficulties. We're having storms right now from um, Nicholas. And uh, so it took me a while. My, my computer's staying online, but my phone was not, so I had to switch it over to my personal hotspot. So how are y'all doing today? I'm just getting here so I can see your comments. There's Cindy and Betty, hey, and Opa, yay, my moderators are here, my sweet friends and moderators. Hey, Sarah and Sandra. Oh, it's dark here, it's raining, we needed the rain, I'm thankful for the rain. Hi, Michelle and Judy and Janet, did y'all see what we all, what we caught the, we caught the post lady today and got everything out Cindy and Jody, thank you, Judy, for the stars. You're so sweet. I have set this phone up uh, three times now, so let's see. I've been excited about trying this one, and this is one of those, you know, I'm just going to kind of wing it and hope for the best. Trish is here. Hey, Trish. Oh, hey, BJ. And there's Mary and Jenny and Brenda and Marlene and Elizabeth. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. This one, let me tell you, it's from Bell Lily, and they were sweet enough to give me a code for y'all. Um, they know that sometimes y'all like what I wear, and I, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes I don't even remember where I got it. Well, this comes from Bell Lily, and their prices are so good, but they gave me a discount code that I passed on to y'all, um, in the link in the description. So, uh, and I believe I put you a link to their, all their Halloween stuff. Um, but this one's fun. It's, um, it's like silky material. It's so comfy. I like it. It fit the theme for today, what we're doing today. So thank you. Thank you. Liz is watching while she works. Thank you for your prayers for Trish. Her family needs them. You're getting rain in Alabama too. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Kathy. Um, there's Linda from North Carolina and Darlene and Maxine and Marsha. I do too, Marsha. It's cozy today. This is a nice, good rain, and we needed it here really badly. I, I do feel bad, really bad for, um, for Louisiana getting hit again with the rain. Hey, QZ. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. So, I went to the thrift store the other day. Is that a shocker to anybody? I doubt it. <laughs> hey, Jan and Cecile. And I got a pair of shoes. And you say, okay, big deal, Lindy. But we're going to turn it into a witch's shoe that we can make into a candy dish or just a cool piece of decor. But I want to try it a couple different ways with y'all. Hey, Barb and Susie. Yeah, if anybody's new, let us know so we can welcome we welcome you. Hey, Rhonda, thank you for those stars. That is so sweet. Hey, Ophelia. And yeah, and it, there's Lissa. Lissa, first time here from uh, we're South Carolina. Yay, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome. Love, love making new friends. Um, so, I tried to choose a shoe that already kind of had a feel of it that might be a vibe, you know. I went on and got black, but it's not gonna stay black. It's kind of a um, suede kind of feel, so this will be interesting all the way around. Yes, Michelle, I'm, I'm gonna seriously disturb some shoes. So, what I'm gonna do, I did, I had to do a lot of prep work. Is it really, Christine? Oh, that's great! That's great. You need this shirt, don't you? <laughs> Y'all just check out that link because they did. They were sweet enough to um, give me a link for my viewers. I thought that was really great. Hey, Carol. Yeah, I think it is too. It was just, it kind of just spoke to me. And uh, come on out of there. Y'all know I'm still using my new glue gun. I love it. Did, a, did my review on it. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Kelly. So, I'm just going to run 
I'm gonna tell you how I did this. I'm gonna run some hot glue here. Where this one, I've not tried this one this way. This is I want to give y'all a couple of different ways, and I'll tell you which one I found to be the easiest. Hey, Penny and Mary. So this is. I went to my closet and got out these old white wire hangers uh, when Mr. Taterbuggin was still working. Thank you for saying that, uh, Ophelia. So when he was still working, he had, um, they called him a uniform, they had a uniform company, but it was like black dress pants and white pressed shirts. And they all came back on these hangers. So yes, Michelle, I love this glue gun. I really do. I'm really enjoying this glue gun. And so I just cut the end off of one hanger and just kind of bent it a little bit. Now. This will be interesting to see how this works and how it holds. But we're gonna go fast on this part because I'm ready to get to the fun stuff. Thank you, Opa, I'm gonna do that, y'all. They're helping me remember that during this live today, I had told them, my moderators, to help me remember, because they know how I am, to, I wanna gift two of you with in a class of your choice, any one of my art classes. So we're gonna do a drawing, so hang around. Did my screen just get dark? I'm paranoid because I'm having internet trouble. Hey, Gail. So here we have, there we go. This is our um, hanger on the end of our shoe to extend this toe. What I'm gonna do is get my painter's tape. Again, I'm just trying this out, y'all. This is not the way. I've got another one for you that's all ready to rock and roll. But I just have to see if this is going to work um, a different way. Because this way, if it, if it works out, might be easier for y'all. Hang around, Lynn. And we're just going to start that tour. But let me just wind this painter's tape right around the hanger. Y'all know I love to try out different things for y'all first, so I can tell you don't waste your time or money, or um, this way works better than the other. Hey, Bev, I see you're here. I hope so. I, um, I got, Bev wanted me to add shirts, the Sweet Tater Bug t-shirts with the little car front and back. She wanted me to add a raglan design, and we've got it. I got it this morning. I had to get y'all shipping out with Mr. Taterbuggin, but um, after this, I'm gonna add the raglan version to the shop. So you'll have your raglan version. Now, we've got our painter's tape on it. Looks like a duck's bill. Now, let me see how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna use, let, let's try, let's try my, let's try my lip gloss. <laughs> I don't know if, you know what, that's, I gotta get it started. Hold on, let me get this started. Oh, I'm missing comments here. Crew neck sweatshirt. We're gonna, we will definitely bring it, be bringing out sweatshirts. I'm kind of trying to go easy on my, my little printer girl. Um, and then beginning, so as soon as this weather starts to cool down here, I'm going to definitely, definitely add a sweatshirt version. You can make a witch's shoe any shape. Now, that was pretty stinking easy. Now, let me show you what else you're going to do. I got out, I don't know if I'm the only person who does it, but I save cereal box, uh, cereal boxes. For just this purpose. It does, doesn't it, Claudia? <laughs> it does. And then, out of this, I already cut one. Where is it? Here it is. I cut a little triangle out of it. Did I freeze up, Tanya? I am so sorry. Uh, hey, Sherry. Okay, see, we're gonna just, I mean, simple, simple. We're gonna glue this. I don't know why my screen looks so dark. Hope it doesn't to y'all. Scooch it into the screen. 
there we go. Y'all know I get out of the screen a lot. Now I'm gonna, um, oh, Diane, oh, I am so sorry. We will be praying for her. Oh my goodness. Not freezing on your end, Teresa? Okay, fine on your end, okay. Now I'm just gonna run a little hot glue. Again, y'all, I'm just, I, I was winging this on my own. Y'all are crafters, I know you'll be able to do this. This is where you, um, yeah, save them, Bev, because these come in handy. Um, this is where you're going to make your own shapes. Now, I'm going to choose to take this and curl it down like this, just with my hand. Do you see the shape it's taken? Just fun. Now, you know, depending on how you paint these up, these can be elf shoes, too. So... I may not paint this one up like a witch. I may do the other one like a witch, and this one may end up being an elf shoe. Oh, yeah, there, Kathy just said it. Good deal. And then I just took, took my cardboard, and I just drew out a funny little shape like this. And let me just cut it out so you can see this one. Oh, Catherine, it's been a good day. I got to take my mom to the dentist this morning and pick them up some. They picked up, got her, took her to Chick-fil-A so she could take her and my stepdad's lunch and supper. She got both. She got lunch and a salad for supper. Hey, Penny. So I just did this little funny shape right here because I'm going to glue this in the back and curl it back this way. Yes, put a jingle bell on the toe for the elf. Can't you just see it? Oh, y'all are so sweet to me. I just love y'all. I hope you're getting excited about your screen porch doors. Mr. Tater, but come here. We've been working, y'all. He, this man's been making doors. Everything's made by hand, and I've been helping him pack this time because there's so much. Hey, Tiffany. Oh, look. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a witch shoe now? Okay. We're going to set that aside. And through the magic of television, I get to say it now. <laughs> Whose show did, did you steal? What? Yeah, Belle Lily. It's very comfortable. There's a discount code for you in the... Um, hey, Opa. In the description of this video, they were sweet enough to give me a discount code for my uh, my followers. <gasps> Already painted one. Now these are my chalk lines. Look at this. Can you stand it? But I did this one a different way, and I had to do this one ahead of time. Oh, who stole your shoe? <laughs> yeah. Here's the other one. Went to the thrift store. Y'all gotta hit your thrift store and try to find you some. Um, she has a pair of these that she wears all the time. <laughs> you could put this on. I'd just be careful in it. They want to know what you're cooking Friday. Oh, wow. We're not going to sell out. Listen, Teresa, we, he's there. He's making them to order, so don't yeah, worry. Don't you worry. There is no such thing as selling out. I'm. All I got to do is try to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. You're so sweet. I'm going back to the wood shop right now. Okay, well, take your umbrella because it is raining. Oh, I won't melt. He might. He's so sweet. Let me tell you how I did this one. Stay inside. That's not me. He's talking, he's talking to Sarge. <laughs> so, let me tell you what I tried on this one. This one was a lot more complicated, but I do love the way it turned out. I remembered how um, Lee did her gnomes. Did y'all watch that Lee from the Turquoise Valentine, how she did her gnomes? She would um, kind of mold them with um, um, aluminum foil. She just gets the uh, Dollar Tree kind and it's real pliable. So I did that. I did a little, I did this shape to add to the tip of the shoe so this inside here is aluminum foil, and then I did the same thing with painter's tape, and I just wrapped it all up to a point. 
Then came the hard part. And all I had, now I would, if I had it to do over again, I would definitely um, get the kind of air dry clay that Lee gets from Hobby Lobby. But I had this in my Dollar Tree stash. I bought this one day at Dollar Tree because I wanted to try it out. Let me see if y'all can see that. It's actual clay. I mean, the dirty, messy, it is not white like that kind, the dab that, is it dab, 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 D-A, what is it? Can't remember. But this is actual clay clay. Messy. Get your, get a bowl. I had this little bowl of water out with me and you'll have to keep um, dipping your fingers in the water to smooth out the clay. Then I put it, yeah, dot, dos. D-A-S. Yes, thank you so much. I knew it was D-A. Couldn't think of the last one. So, um, I worked on this over the weekend. I, I wanted it to be good and dry, and I didn't know how long it would take. Um, so, I set it out in the sunshine on the deck, and it was dry by that evening. It was amazing. So, the clay dries really fast, but I know the one that Lee uses 24 hours, and it's ready. This one actually cracked, and I know it's so hard to see. You'll see it once I paint it. It has cracks in it, and uh, Gerald saw it, and he was like, oh, no, it cracked. You need to take it in and fix it, and so I walked back out there to look at it, and I said, no way. I love it. it the cracks made it even look cooler, so it almost, one of them cracked kind of like a spider web, so I took my, the next day, I took it outside and I just spray painted the whole thing black. The, this part, this part, the whole shoe, just black. It started out black, just like this one, but I just wanted it to look solid. So I hit it all with a little black spray paint outside. And now I've drawn my chalk lines because I kind of got an idea in my head of how I wanted to paint it. I'm going to put some green here. I picked this because we got to now we've got to embellish it all up. It's going to be so much fun. And I picked this. Wow, that is really bright on there. I need to work on my lighting. This greeny green. Let me get it out of the bottle. What's it called? Citrus in Anita's. It's citrus. Daz, maybe. I don't. Hmm. I don't know. We need to look it up. I think so too, Michelle. When I saw him, I thought, boy, that looks like a cool witch's shoe. Now, let's see if you can see the cracks once I start adding this, this uh, wild green paint to it. Because I just want it to look like the craziest witch's shoe. And then we can start embellishing it. And it could just be, um, you know, a shelf sitter, a cute um, Halloween decor piece. Or I thought, you know what, why couldn't you? I know it's a shoe and I know it's from the thrift store, so you've got to line it, obviously. But I was thinking about just putting press and seal all down on the inside. What do y'all think? And then you could put your Halloween candy in it. I think that would be so cute sitting out on uh, on your counter for Halloween season. Yeah, thank you so much for answering that for me. DAS, thank you for looking that up, Paula. Or for knowing it. You may have already known it. I knew it was DA something. So look at this green, y'all. Oh my goodness. That's some wild. Okay, now let me get one. Let me get to this crack that looked like a spider's web. And see if y'all can see it better. I'm going to be sure to get the bottom here. You could even, um, if you wanted to, add some black felt 
to the sole. <laughs> I've been dying to try this. I can't wait to see how it turns out. And on my other one, I'm gonna, well, I don't know, I may save it for a um, elf shoe. I may go on and spray paint it red. Or you could spray it with white chalk paint first and then just use your acrylics to paint it up like an elf shoe. Why is my lighting like that? Let me see. If I go up, it's because it's dark outside. I know that's got to be it. I don't know if you can see the cracks, though. Come back here. I don't know. Just keep moving it around and see. Let's try that trick I did the other day. Uh -uh. No. Oh, well. So. I'm going to just leave this part alone for a minute. I might come back and give it a second coat after it dries. But that was simple enough. Hello, Susie. Now, on this part, I'm just going to see what it's like to paint this cloth shoe. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Vicki, I guess the fancy ones do. I don't know. But there's no reason you couldn't. Uh, well, if you just wanted to do a shoe like this, of course, without a heel, hit that um, hit that thrift store with flats in mind. Because I saw some pointy-toed flats, too. I just picked the heels for the witch. And I think for the witch... The crazier, the better. Just all the wild colors. And just have fun decorating it up. <laughs> Sexy elves do. <laughs> yeah, go for some flats for an elf shoe. That's easy enough. But yeah, this once I started putting the toe on this one, I thought, oh man, yeah, this will definitely work. Um for Christmas too, for an elf. And I don't know about y'all's Goodwill. All of Goodwill's pricing is different. Um, my Goodwill tends to be um, more expensive than some, I think. This, these shoes were $7.99, but I'll get two fun crafts out of them. My Salvation Army though, that's real close, too is um, always 50% off. So I just happened to be closest to Goodwill the other day when I was out. So that's where I went. But I might have gotten, I'm going to have to hit my Salvation Army and see if they have any maybe elf flats. Now I think I'm going to go on up and do this green too. on the outside. I'm going to do the inside different. So, where am I? There's our green and green. What I did, a real ice skate from the thrift shop. For Chris. Oh, I bet that's so pretty. Did they, Jenny? Uh, yeah, I'd love to see that. Please, please post that, Kathy, to our um, Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs page. I'd love to see it. Oh, thank you, Janet. I've been dying to try this. Hooray crew in New Orleans that decorates high heels. Oh, now that's a cool idea. Clearance shoes at Walmart. There you go. Neon paint would be awesome. Yes. Thank you, Rhonda, for that. Oh, Nicole, I understand. I had not seen them yet, so thank you. Sometimes I wonder, I'll get a mad face or something, I'll think, oh gosh, what did I do? All right, so we've got this bright, bright orange. This one's called, this one's called orange. How about that? <laughs> the spiced pumpkin was a little too dark for this. I wanted it to be bright. 
No, Margaret, they were not. They had, um, let me see if I can show you how, they ended right here. They had just that little bit of a square toe. Now I did this one differently. I did this one with a clothes hanger and some painter's tape. I did this one with um, aluminum foil, painter's tape. You could use paper, wadded up newspaper, um, and then I covered it in clay. I smoothed it out with clay, but as the clay had, sorry, I hope that didn't freeze me. Mom called, I forgot to put it on do not disturb. Okay, now let me, let me hit this with the orange. You know what? Oh, I did that wrong. Wait a minute, that's not the color scheme I wanted. <gasps> Hold on, it, it's, it's all okay. Nobody's gonna die, right? That's not where I want my orange. I was going, my, my mama threw me off. I'm gonna tell her. <laughs> you threw me off, mom. I'm gonna do, <clears throat> where did I set it out? Here it is, this purple. For the last several years, that's what I'm gonna do, Tanya. Yeah, I'm just gonna paint over it. For the last <coughs> several years, excuse me, I have painted my, I smell children. Um, I usually use fence wood. <coughs> I would teach it at Southern Vintage. And I have a little woodblock print of it. And, goodness, got choked. Um, so I wanted to kind of keep it in those Sanderson sisters colors because <clears throat> so far everybody's really loved Hocus Pocus. Do you, did you, are y'all familiar with that movie? I did not know how popular it was until I, I did that first Hocus Pocus piece. I just thought it was cute. And I found out it was a really hot movie in the 90s. I was busy raising children and I had boys, so I didn't know how I did not know how popular that movie was. I had only seen it like one time. So, every Halloween, I like to do something for my Sanderson sisters lovers because I know they are out there and they are tried and true fans. So I've even got my Sanderson t-shirt on today from Belle Lily. Y'all, their prices are amazing. They are really amazing. And like I said, this is not, this is kind of a silky t-shirt. Do you love Hocus Pocus, Michelle? Well, you are not alone, cause boy, there are a lot of ladies who love that little, it's a, it's not a scary Halloween movie. You know, it's just a cute kids Halloween movie. It was very 90s. Really, Cindy? Oh my goodness. That's so funny in a pediatric office that I smell children. That's so great. <laughs> I have, uh, yeah, I have several Hocus Pocus t-shirts I'll probably be wearing. I don't do the, now I like scary movies, I'll tell you that. Oh, there's my mama, she left a voicemail. She knows, she's right next door, but she knows to call Gerald. Y'all don't worry about her. She knows if she doesn't get me to call Gerald, but I guarantee you, the minute that phone started ringing, she said, oh, I forgot she's teaching a class. That's what she calls them, a class. You're teaching a class today. I'm so sorry, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, this shirt is um, like silky. It's not cotton. It's very comfy. And when I got it, I thought, mm, I don't know. are those colors going to be okay for me? But I kind of like them. They're crazy. Did you, Wendy? I bet that was cute. What'd you say about the fairies? Are really cute in Hocus Pocus. It's just a funny, cute movie. A muck, a muck, a muck, a muck, a muck. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna take, you see why I had to do a lot of prep work for this? Cause I knew it was gonna take a minute to paint this whole shoe, because I think it was, I wasn't looking at sizes, but I, I don't think this is a little bitty shoe. What size is it? Yeah, seven and a half, that's about my size. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do one, who asked me that? Um, yeah, I know, Lynn, that's how I am, I want a happy ending. 
Frida. Um, I'm gonna do one for Halloween, and I think I'll paint this one as an elf for Christmas, and it'll be a fancy elf because it's gonna have high heels, so. <clears throat> it's funny, I used to love scary, the, like the, when I was a teenager, I loved like the Friday the 13th, the whole Freddy Krueger thing. Um, and as an adult, I don't care for those anymore. And I really don't like the scary movies that are like The Purge, where it could possibly happen. You know, killer kind of movies, uh, that, that stuff scares me. And I don't like it. But if it's like haunted housey or you know spooky that way with not not the blood and guts i still love those but uh yeah i just don't do the gore i don't want the gore the blood and guts can y'all look at that i love the purple with the um yeah with the green i the bird alfred hitchcock all day long I love Alfred Hitchcock. When I was a little girl, they never scared me. I'd watch scary movies with my dad like that. I remember watching that old Night of the Living Dead, and it was so creepy to me. Now it's just silly looking, but um, I remember one Sunday, we'd go over to my grandmother's house on Sunday afternoon, all of us, and a lot of times my aunts and cousins would be there too. And I was probably five, and um, my little cousin was there, and he was three, maybe. <laughs> and we turned on, you know, do you remember Sunday afternoon movies that came on? Well, that it was, I guess it was getting close to Halloween or something, and the old movie, The Fly with Vincent Price was on. And I sat in my grandmother's floor. I was so enjoying getting to watch The Fly. And I thought it was so funny because the woman, the leading lady's name was Cecile. And that's my mom's name. And you don't hear that name very often. And we have a Cecile uh, sweet tater bug too. And when <laughs> Vincent Price's head was on the fly in the cage, and he would go in that little bitty squeaky voice, help me. I loved that, but my little cousin was so scared of that movie. He went screaming out of the room, covering his face, running to the other room, crying, and they made me turn the channel. I was so mad at him. <laughs> he didn't let me finish watching my scary movie. I loved The Wizard of Oz was my all-time favorite movie growing up. I was obsessed with it. I learned all the trivia on it. I had a big book about it. I was very scared of, I did not like the Wicked Witch of the West, obviously, and I did not like her flying monkeys. Her troopers creeped me out too, actually, but I sure loved that movie. More than anything, I did not like Elvira Gulch because she stole Toto, and I cried every time, even though I knew Toto was gonna jump out of that basket. It made me so mad when she said she was taking that dog. I never liked her. I was happy when that, when that house dropped on her. All right, now the orange, Lindy. I'm just yakety yakking it, y'all. Really? She didn't like the flying monkeys either? You know what You know what movie to this day I still will not watch? And that is Bambi. A lot of times, you, lo you liked the lollipop kids? Uh, yeah, they were like the lollipop guild. And they scared me. They, they scared me a little bit. Because they, they looked like mean boys to me when I was little. They really weren't. But, um... I was gonna say something about that. What was it? Oh, I was on a roll about something, Wizard of Oz, wasn't I? The movie, okay. Have to go back to remind my old brain what I'm thinking about. 
I won't watch Bambi. Walt Disney movies as a kid got to me every time and I knew ahead of time that Bambi's mom was gonna get shot. I don't know how I found that out, but I did. And my mom and dad wanted to take me to see Bambi so bad because they wanted to go. I would not go. And like Dumbo, my cousins took me to see Dumbo when it came out. I like to died when they put his mama in the cage. I still can't watch that and I still can't hear that song, Baby Mine. Oh, I bawled my brains out. I was a sensitive child. <laughs> Cried every year when Frosty melted. Uh, my uncle, would we lived with my grandmother and her brother when I was growing up and he would watch those Sunday, Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon movies on TV. And sometimes I'd go in there and sit and just see what he was watching. I sat down one day, not knowing it was old yeller. Oh my gosh. I went, that sent me running, screaming, crying out of the room. That was awful. And the biscuit eater, oh, I can't take it. So, I know Disney has to have a dark side and, and it, there were a lot of them that just really got to me when I was a kid. I mean, I'm serious. They, they hurt my heart bad. So I still won't watch Bambi. I will not. That orange is harder to see. It'll take a couple of coats. Nope. Can't do the, it, when it's animals, I, I can't handle it. Cannot handle it. Even, I know it's a movie, I understand all of that. I just, it hurts my heart. And that's not, that doesn't entertain me. If I'm gonna, you know, be hurt that bad. Nicholas Sparks, books or movies. I finally just swore off of them. I can't take it, I want a happy ending. No, I can't Robin, I cannot. My son even read Where the Red Fern Grows. Chris, he's my sensitive one, like me. And he read it in middle school. They had to read it. And it got him. But he came home that day. And one of the boys in the class, he was telling me about it. He was telling, oh, Mom, that was so hard. It was just so hard. And... Um, one of the boys in the middle school class who was really tough, you know, he tried to be the tough guy. <laughs> when they got to the end of the teacher and he, the kids were reading it along together, he took that book and he threw it up against the wall and was just bawling. <laughs> it even got the tough guy in the class. Oh, he said, I hate this book. Why has it got to be so sad? I like happiness. The Notebook, Michelle. Hey, Amanda. That's okay. We're we're making a, we're painting a witch's shoe, <laughs> and I'm getting my hand all in it. Um, the Notebook. I read that book when it came out, and that was back when I could sit up reading till all hours without falling asleep, and uh, could see good. <laughs> I'll never forget, it was like two in the morning because I couldn't put it down because his books are so good. His movies are so good. But when, oh, it, I got to the end. Well, there were many parts, y'all know. I couldn't see to read. I, I was bawling my face off. I know, Knights in Rodanthe. Come on, just once, let him, Get back there to Diane Lane, please. Mm. Now, let me see if I can hit it with the heat gun. Let's see what happens here. I know, Trish, that movie is so good. But man, I don't know what happened in Nicholas Sparks' life that makes him kill everybody off. Mare, watch with caution. It is the saddest thing. I did paint the heel, Jenny. I painted it and it soaked right in. That orange did, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep painting it. Well I did too, Lynn. I loved little women. And 
up. I cried. Do y'all watch Friends? Do you remember when Joey read Little Women <laughs> and found out Beth died? And he was devastated. I know, Joey, that house is beautiful. I love that house. And she stayed there during that hurricane. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let me just see what happens when I hit uh, the toe of the Okay, she must have remembered. Maybe she'll call Gerald. That was my mama again. That gets me worried. Charlotte's Web. Our teacher read that to us in second grade. I had to put my head down and sob. I'll never forget that. And my sweet second grade teacher was one of my all-time favorites. The gentlest, sweetest woman. And she would do all the sweet voices. <laughs> when Charlotte died. Oh my word. I did. I just put my head down and bawled in class. I think a lot of us did. But I loved it. I loved it. Did y'all watch? We took our boys to see Babe. We loved that movie. Yeah, how you doing, Lori? <laughs> I bought Mr. Taterbug in some how you doing pajama pants <laughs> that he wears. <laughs> we are the hugest Friends fans. Both of us love it. Well, that's one show I will watch over and over and over and just keep laughing. I know every word of every episode, but I love it. How you doing? Stepmom with Julia Roberts. Let me, uh, I don't, do I know that one? Yes, I know what you're talking about. Uh-uh, no. Do you, Amanda? I should have known that. I should have known that. Y'all, Amanda and I have so much in common, it's crazy. We just keep finding out more and more. We're almost, well, we are exactly the same age, just a couple months apart. Cindy, you've got to watch Friends. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I love Julia Roberts, too. Steel Magnolias killed me. Just killed me. Ugh. And, um, what, Deborah Winger and, uh, come on. What's, what's the name of that movie? Oh, what's the one where her daughter, Deborah Winger is the daughter, and she dies in the hospital. Who was, uh, yep, yeah, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Great actress. Uh, Weezer, what's her name? Do you order from this site a lot? Uh, which site is it? Tell me. Uh, fried green tomatoes was wonderful. Paint a bit more green up under the toe. Okay. Terms of endearment. Shirley MacLaine. Thank you. That was driving me crazy. Um, oh, that movie. That was one of those that I hurt for a long time afterwards. It literally, I mean, it's a physical pain in my chest. I just, uh, and I have to, I have to choose when I'm emotionally prepared to watch some of those. I love them. They're great movies. I thoroughly enjoy The first time I saw Titanic, I thought Gerald was going to have to carry me out of there because all I could think of was that really happened. And, ugh. Hey, Denise. We are just, <laughs> we're going all over the place talking while I'm painting today. It's so hard to pick this up because I've got wet paint everywhere. See my witch's shoe? Now, the purple's kind of doing okay. Let me show you. I've just got to move on because, goodness gracious, it's almost been an hour already. I want to show you some of the things I was thinking. I want to take, I'm going to use just the end of this pencil right here. You can use any circular or something or other. And I'm going to take this lighter purple. It's called Grape Taffy. From Craft Smart. I still don't know. Yeah, 
a buckle. Brenda, I'm coming. I'm coming up on the buckle because I gotta have a buckle and I've got some embellishments. Somebody asked me if I'd ordered from a site very often and I don't know what site we were talking about. And I, so let me know and I'll answer you. Ghost, oh yes, mercy. Now look, what if I, can y'all see this? If I do lighter purple polka dots all over it, because I want y'all to get all creative and decorated it up in all fun different stripes and zigzags. Stealing home, I, I don't know that one. The champ, Trish, Trish, you were there with me, weren't you? <laughs> Oh, the champ. Oh, Wendy, yeah. Yeah, Belle Lily. Their prices are so good. Yeah, check them out. That's why I, I got the discount code for y'all. Because I know y'all usually ask where I got something. And uh, shipping's fast. It's not, it doesn't take a long time. Um, but the champ, I was in sixth grade maybe when that came out was sixth or seventh it may have been seventh since i think trish went and i went to see it and we were just <laughs> trish you crazy didn't you go with me to see the champ didn't we go together for that i love the part of sleepless in seattle is another favorite movie and when rita wilson is talking about an affair to remember Oh, that's another good one. And she's crying and she's talking about. And when he, she came out in her little wheelchair and she had the blanket across her lap. And all the, the men and the little boy were just looking at her like, what is wrong with her? And so they talk, started talk, making fun of her and they were saying, uh, what, was, what was the movie? When, when Trini Lopez dove into the foxhole. <laughs> It gets me every time. Opa, I went to, my mom and I went to see um, E.T. together. It was not long after my dad had died, I think, when it came out. Is that right? Or he was, it, it, he was sick enough that he couldn't go with us, maybe. It was toward the end. Love story. Don't get me started. Mm. And, um... At the end, when E.T. left, my mom and I literally were wiping tears from under our chins. You know, we're quietly sobbing, two grown women. But this little, Dirty Dozen, thank you, Linda. There was a little girl in the row right behind us. Bless her heart. She just broke into tears. I mean, <laughs> and mom and I are wiping we're just wiping tears from under there. And then we kind of got tickled because here we were crying right along with that precious little girl behind us that just could not take it. It was too sad. Simon Birch is one that um, I think, I see, I've caught on. I watch trailers now before I watch anything and decide if I can handle it. And... Yeah, no, can't. I can't do that type of thing. You know, I I went to see The Exorcist, not when it first came out. I was too young. And, um, I, you know, I had heard all about it, and they took the worst of it out and brought it back out PG-13. Oh, please don't let my power go out. And, um... So I couldn't wait to watch that. When, actually, I didn't know. I didn't get to see it till it came on TV. And I was going to, I planned it all out. I was going to watch it in my room in the dark. And my parents' room was right across the hall then. Of course, it was the really watered down TV version. <laughs> I had to turn it off and run in mom and dad's room. <laughs> it scared me so bad. I thought I was going to. Yeah, so y'all are getting the idea of that. I'll finish this up. But, yes, I want to, before it goes any further, I want to give away, I want to gift. Let me say that. I want to gift two people 
with the paint class of your choice. So if um, that's a great idea, Jenny. Put a little stocking in there. I can't, mm -mm, I can't watch it, Opa. I cannot watch The Passion of the Christ. I went to the Passion Play one time, and I thought I was actually going to die. And um, I, I still haven't been able to watch it. I, I can't, I, the thought of it, I can't do it. I'm just, mm, yeah. So, now, let me scroll. I'm going to scroll here. And I'm just going to look up. Open, open makes sure because i got to look away. And I think, I think, Mary, I think, have you won um, a paint class of mine? I believe you have. Let me go on and you, I'll wait for you to respond, but I'll go on and choose another name because I want it to be fair. I want to give out, you know, help, I mean, gift somebody, other people with it. Laurie Stewart, have you had one of my, uh, have I gifted you one? Um, so I'll wait to hear from y'all and I'm going to then show you what I did. I'm going to give you two options because I thought, well, okay, I, I, I could go, I could go buy a thrift store buckle, but I mean belt and take the buckle off of it, but you know me. Let me, let me see. Okay, Laurie Stewart, you have not. Okay, I want you to message me on my tater bugging page and let me know which class you would like to take, and I'll send you the link. And um, Mary, let me see if I've heard from Mary. I know they might, Vicki. Mary uh, Cardell, I believe was her name. Was that right, Mary Cardell? Uh-oh, somebody pulled your name, Penny, and you don't remember who? Uh, what are the paint classes? Alyssa, if you go to taterbuggin.myshopify.com, and you uh, click the art classes, you'll find all of my art classes listed there. And they're always available. Mary Carnduff, thank you, Tammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, no, I'm glad you asked, Alyssa. That's Mary, yeah, Mary Carnduff. Have you had a class? I know I sent, there was some happy mail. No, you have not, okay, Mary then um, message me. I'm going to try my best to remember um, during my lives for the next several to um, gift you, two of you for each live with the, a paint class of your choice. So thank you for that link. Yeah. Thank you, Cindy. Um, now let me show you. Yeah. I'm, Mayor, I know it's busy today. It's been a good day. Let me show you what I did. I'm gonna give y'all some some options. Did I sit it over here? And I'm gonna try not to keep y'all much longer. I had all my stuff out. I promise you, it's on this table, and I will find it. Here it is. I had it in a special spot. Took a piece of cardboard, regular corrugated cardboard, and I just and that's the saddest buckle you ever saw. But I bet you, once you, thank y'all for the hearts, I bet once you um, paint this up and maybe put some gold glitter on it, now see, this would need to dry, and put it on here. And I was thinking um, orange felt, or I happened to have purple felt out. I could do the, you know, the little um, belt around her shoe and have this just go through here, I'd cut it, you know, and have it go through here. That's one way to do it. Then I got to thinking, um, what if you took your little bag of Dollar Tree skeleton hands and you made it look like the skeleton hand was the buckle holding it and then glue that. Of course, I would probably paint this hand another color so it would really show up, maybe orange or something and then put it 
on the toe, you know, on the front of the shoe there. Get out your, your uh, Dollar Tree spider rings and you can paint them. They don't have to be this color, but glue a spider to it. I can't wait to finish it all up. And I'm gonna try to paint some on the inside, maybe some. What I wanted to do on the heel is have it orange with black stripes going around it. Uh, I asked you the other day about showing us how to do the stained glass window. Uh, no, I'm not in any painting class. Um, stained glass window on the churches. I could easily do that on a pre-recorded video. That's no problem. It'd be a quick, easy thing to do. Um, just find, getting the time to shoot it. But I'm working on it, y'all. I'm just trying to get help Mr. Trader Buggin with shipping right now. Uh, for If you missed it, go back to the beginning. I did the toe two different ways. I give you two different options of how to do this cool witch's toe. Um, and listen, I found the, the uh, webbing at Dollar, the spider web at Dollar Tree. So they do have this out now. And so I thought it might be fun to do some webs coming down from the toe onto the shoe maybe and put a spider in that. You could do all kinds of cool stuff. But I thought, you know, you could, do like the, the little treat bags. Somebody mentioned filling the treat bags and putting them down in the shoe, you could do that. Or I thought, you know, there's this press and seal where you could just line the whole inside. I wouldn't go all the way down in the toe, so you have to dig out all of that, but kind of swoop it around. It sticks so good to cloth, um, press and seal does. And just line the whole thing and put your Halloween candy down in it. So, yeah, so these shoes will work for witch shoes or elf shoes. Just depends on how you want to paint them and decorate them. And you know I will take pictures. Now, y'all are reminding me of all the things. All the things. We've got wood kits if you're new here. The latest uh, wood kit is the, the screen porch doors. We've got the shelf sitter size. And then we have the tiered tray size. We're web inside of the shoe and then candy jenny that's yes absolutely fill it with candy corn nobody's gonna eat that stuff anyway unless you mix it with peanuts am i right <laughs> um that would be really cute yeah i can just see all kinds of fun ways to do this up but i'm gonna i've still got a lot to do it's not a an hour-long project that's for sure it's gonna take a while apparel we've got new t-shirts we have um the front and back of my tater bug and it says sweet tater bug on the back it says follow me to tater buggin those are our newest shirts and i'm about to add a raglan version um after i get off of here i just got that from my um my printer this morning so she's working hard for y'all we've got our first big order in Oh, but that's perfect if you've already got some, Debbie. That's great. Uh, the ladder tier tray is temporarily on hold. That is his, you know, um, Mr. Tater Buggin hand makes everything. We, we only do handmade. We don't have a cutter or anything like that. He, he's it. And so we've we got so many orders for ladder trays, and that, that's his most labor-intensive product. He is cranking them out to catch up and then we're putting them back in the shop. So as soon as we get caught up on this initial big order, they will go back in the shop. So be watching my page. Um, the group is Tater Buggins, Sweet Tater Bugs. It's just a group for my followers where you can share anything you want to, your crafts, your grandbabies, your pets, your prayer requests, whatever's important to you. It's just a sweet community of tater bugging followers and I call them my sweet tater bugs. And it's growing by leaps and bounds. It's a precious group of sweet, sweet people. Um, oh yeah, the screen door. Go back to, it's on my Facebook page. It's also on the Turquoise Valentine and you can find it on my YouTube channel, Tater Buggin' YouTube channel, very easily. 
Lee and I crafted, um, she did a large one, the, the taller one that's a shelf sitter, and I crafted the mini. And what's great about them is they're year round. All you have to do is switch out. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> I've got the mini right back here. This is the one I did. This one fits on a tear tray. And this is how I chose to decorate it. And you'll get the little hinges and the little, that's metal and the metal handle. You will get the screen door, you'll get the middle piece and the cross braces here. You put it together and then when it comes time for Christmas, I'll pop this right off and my little welcome sign or I'll just paint the welcome sign if I want to. Uh, but I just did it with a little hot glue so I can pop it right off and I'll do a Christmas wreath or, you know, something different. The shirt is Belle Lily, yes, there is a, and listen, when you order, there's a discount code, Lindy15. It's in the description and a link for you. I did that because I know y'all usually ask me if I have something different on, you'll ask me where I got it. And um, so this is Belle Lily. You'll see a lot of Belle Lily. I, I, did, a, I did a pretty sizable order there, so, uh, but their prices are so good. Uh, yeah, there's a don't miss out on that coupon code um, So yeah, this is in there. We got all kinds of unfinished wood kits. We've got wood block prints We've got art classes. We've got apparel. We've got I think there's still you know We've got mugs in there that are to, made to order um, If y'all think of anything else, let me know what I'm figuring uh, Yeah, we are definitely definitely gonna have that ladder tier tray back in stock as soon as we can possibly catch up and we are I'm, I'm telling you we worked till late last night and um oh you did see me paint that tammy <laughs> lee was so funny she was talking to to y'all while i was painting it and i hand lettered welcome on it and she looked down and saw it she didn't see me do it she, <laughs> she was so funny about that but yeah that was fun I am in love with this and it sits so perfectly on your little tiered tray yeah these were we just never anticipated uh, um, that that much that big of an order and they're still coming in so oh Cheryl you're so sweet thank you that's that's a sweet thing to say y'all are sweet to me and I just love y'all dearly and I mean that I love my time with y'all uh, blank book stack books on in your shop I haven't Charlotte I have not done that but you know we could do that we're always wanting new ideas from y'all so if there's ever something that you'd like to suggest to me or mr. tater buggin please let us know I'm gonna try hard to be working on uh, three new um, three new woodblock prints for y'all I've got I've got the ideas going and uh, you said there's a picture of the tear tray. Um, oh, Sherry, thank you. There was in the shop, um, Lee has it in her studio. It's right in her background. I tell you what I'll, well, when it goes back in the shop, I'm gonna have mine all decorated. Mine looks pitiful right now. It's, I disassembled it and I've started to finish up some pieces for fall and little bits of Halloween in there and so as soon as I get it redecorated for this season I'll take a picture for y'all um, absolutely Mary don't forget to message me and let me know which one you want uh, love the shoe thank you Karen y'all Karen did the t-shirts she surprised me and Lee she did the t-shirts for us that we wore live when we did the screen doors and she was gracious enough to take orders for those and I know one of my sweet tater bugs uh, sent me the picture that she had gotten her shirt so I'm so excited y'all will be repping um, repping the turquoise Valentine and tater bugging so Alice, uh, I, I know my moderators have been sharing the links. It's taterbuggin.myshopify.com. And did you get yours, Betty? Oh, I'm so glad. I, we, Lee and I just absolutely adore those shirts. And when I saw that she even added the saw to it, and the saw is going through the W, um, I think it is Crafters Gone Wild. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> oh, Karen, she, in fact, this is the pen I use the most. Karen sent me this pen, this sweet as honey pen. They are the coolest things. They're covered in, um, and it resin, Karen. I love this pen. So, yeah. Uh, Cecile, the link is in my description for the, the uh, oh, are you talking about your t-shirt? Karen Hutzler. She's one of our sweet tater bugs. She's on here right now. You can uh, send her a private message through Facebook. Uh, she There's Karen right there. She was kind enough to um, allow us to tell y'all to um, just message her and, and she will make you a t-shirt. Yeah, uh, Karen outdid herself. She sent me and Lee those t-shirts and she sent Mr. Taterbug in the Save the Bacon Grease, Save the Bacon Grease, Mr. Taterbug and t-shirt for him to, to cook in. I don't know what he's cooking this Friday. He's been so busy, I don't think he's had a chance to decide. <laughs> oh, well, I have gone 10 minutes over. And so, do y'all have any, any other questions I can answer before I go? I'll be back Thursday at four. Um, we might paint together Thursday. So, oh, Alice, welcome. I am so happy you're here. I love that new people are coming in all the time. That makes me so happy. Yeah, I try not to, uh, try not to look at the clock. Yeah, it, we've kind of been taken out a lot lately or having leftovers. I told him tonight might be a Chick-fil-A salad night because he's, we got it. We got to pack more. I hope you do too, Sherry. Thank you. Thanks, Trish. Text me when you, when, uh, when y'all get, when you get home with Carolyn. I'm dying to hear about her. Um, so y'all just go have a great evening and, um, I'm going to get back to the shipping department. It's so big now. He had to move from the end of this table all the way into another room. So the whole, the whole business is taking up our whole little house now. <laughs> so I'm so glad you liked it, Patricia. Can you paint the Sanderson sisters on small wood? I want to do my car. I'm ahead of you. Who said that? Cheryl, as a matter of fact, if you go to the woodblock prints collection in our online shop, you'll see my I Smell Children woodblock print. They're made to order, they're always available, and it would fit so perfectly right there on your little tiered tray. So yeah, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big seller. Every, I thought I might have one over here, but anyway. Thank you, I'm glad y'all enjoyed my shoe craft. I've been dying to do this one, so it'll have to go in, in layers because it's taking some time drying. But, um, yeah, Cheryl, go go look it up. It's in there, and we'll get you fixed right up. I, I'm almost certain I already have that in there. Um, and if I don't, if by some chance I have not loaded that yet, you let me know right away. Send me a message, and I will get that up tonight because it needs to be in there. I hope I haven't forgotten that. Oh, good, Cheryl. Yes, absolutely. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. Y'all just have a great evening, and I'm going to see you again on Thursday afternoon at 4. Bye. Love y'all.